God's sake, all I've got is the butt spread. Watching Fish TV. Brought to you by Rapala, crafted from experience. Budweiser Prohibition Brew. All Budweiser, no alcohol. Go RV in Canada. Bring back wildhood. And Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. With your hosts, Leo Stocco, Ron James, and Jeff Chizzo. Powder. Hi, welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stockles. I'm Rod James. I'm Jeff Kizzer. We are back here at beautiful Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge here, guys, with the group extraordinaire here. <laughs> this is a big tourney here. I hope you guys know that. Five bucks each, right? <laughs> you know what, guys? It's a fantastic place here to come up here with the group. You're not going to want to miss the action. There's going to be a lot of laughs. Stick around. Go! Go All right. All right. Got my fishing glasses on. <laughs> I'm in. We all got a bet for five bucks, biggest fish. Hopefully, I'll win it. We'll see. You can't be pass fishing. up this tree, though. They're going to be fishing off the dock. You can't pass up this tree. OK. We got to hit that first. We caught this monster fish right off the dock, and you yeah. guys went for half an hour. And if we get them off that, we're going to that tree. <laughs> OK. All right, let's do this. Trees. Good ambush point for fish. I think this is a good place to start. The secret to successful fishing is taking Jeff along. And if you don't have Jeff, you gotta find a Jeff. I found Jeff. I thought it was having you on the boat. There we go. <laughs> Beauty. First pitch of the day. It's crazy. Awesome. Beautiful right there. Crooked lake, large mouth. I think we're up to uh, a good day here. What, 48 inches? <laughs> Beautiful fish. We're gonna let him go. We got bigger yet, come in. Yeah, let him go so I can catch him. We might have a pattern here. I think these fish are gonna relate to structure, but that's only the first pitch, so um, we'll have to test this. Put your bait right along the edge of those branches and just let it sit there. They'll come out and eat it. Really? I think they're living right in there. Okay. This could be the winner right here. Oh yeah, there's the winner right there. Tell you what we're doing here, guys. We got a whole group of guys up here. We got about 12 of us here at Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge, and it's going to be a fun tournament. Everybody puts in five dollars for the biggest fish. So far, that's leading. In our boat, right there. This is actually a fantastic place here with a group of guys. It's close, just outside of Norland, where the landing is. Beautiful portage out of three different lakes here. You start off a fish hog, make your way into Crooked Lake. Throw that guy back there. Fish after fish. My arm's killing me already. We just started run. Nice. Completely untouched water. We have not seen a boat, nor will you see a boat. Just a healthy fishery here. Like lots of fish this size here, some larger ones. So you know they're going to continue to grow here and thrive in this water. I just tossed it there. Got him out of there. Oh, nah, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, he's not 15 inches. <laughs> he's more. <laughs> yeah. He's 24. <laughs> 24. Jaw is at the end of my feet. And he is. Yeah, OK. That's how you figure that's three inches at the end of your foot. 14 inches. They're all going to get bigger than that. They're better anyway. Maybe they do like spinner baits. But see where he was, Ron? Look at the three of them underneath him. Well, hold them there. Look at that. Are they still there? Yep, right underneath there. Right there. Drop right there. Oh. Three of them came out underneath that little pile there. Oh, this one might be bigger, bud. No. Let me see. Put me beside my foot there. Yeah, this one's about 15 inches. Nice. 15 inches, probably in the lead. Oop. 
Nice healthy fish. Three of them came out for that Terminator right there. Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. What do we got here? Largie. How many fish do you think can live in that tree? <laughs> That's a fish hotel right there. All right, let's see if his mama's in there. Yeah, this is a good fish. Yeah, that looks like a good one. <laughs> We've been picking away at this tree, and then I went right into the very back. Well, you went into the basement of the fish hotel there. <laughs> basement of the fish hotel, there you go. Oh, that's yep. a good size, yeah. too. That's a fish, Yeah. and that's a fisherman. <laughs> Beautiful fish right there, awesome. Beautiful. When it comes to this kind of stuff, you need a rod with a little bit of backbone. So when we got on the boat this morning, I looked and your rods were all different. Mm -hmm. they're, they're different widths, and I assume that yep. that's different resistance on it. Some are more flexible than others. How, how do you tell which one to use when? Why do you have so many different rods? So this rod is a medium heavy, but it's a, it's got more flex to this particular rod, which is great for casting a lighter bait, like a spinner bait. It's still got some length for giving you uh, the ability to cast that bait. So that's a seven foot two medium heavy, but then this rod you can see a lot thicker, right? It is long, but it's got the leverage to be able to pull fish at a heavier cut. It's not gonna be as flexible as something correct, like what correct. I've got. So this particular rod's loaded up with 50 pound braid. The other one's with 30 pound braid. This one is good for pulling fish at a heavy cover. The other one, I only need a little lighter braid to be able to work the edges with the spinner bait and that kind of stuff. But when I wanna go into the deeper stuff, thicker weeds, branches around trees and so forth, I want something with some backbone to pull that fish out. Interesting. So they all have the different purpose. That's why we bring a few with us. Well, let's get offshore and catch some fish. <laughs> It's now time for the Fish TV Tackle Box. Hey guys, I'm just gearing up for day two. Day one went really well. We caught a ton of fish. I'm gonna show you what we caught them on. This poppin' frog right here, the Terminator poppin' frog. I mean, look at, look at, it's marked right up. Caught a lot of fish. I'm making sure I, I got that tied on today. We're throwing that on a seven foot medium heavy action rod with 50 pound Suffex braid, 832, which is a great line, you know, for out here in that thick cover way in the back. Also, my trusty go-to bait, a jig. A jig works every time with the weed guard, gets through them weeds and catches big fish. And also we used a spinner bait. You can catch a ton of fish when you come to Crooked Lake on a spinner bait. You bring these three baits with you, this good quality gear, you'll catch them just like we are. I gotta get down there, they're waiting for me. Stick around. Look at this guy. He just came up and rifled it on that Terminator. Oh, 19 and a half inches. <laughs> 19 and a half, he's a long fish though. Look at that, right in front of, literally right in front of the lodge. Yep. You don't have to go far here, Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge, I'll tell you what. There's fish everywhere in here. Let's see if we can get another one off there. Come off that bush. Yeah, just sitting there. Look at how far he took that frog down. Wow. Uh, you think he wanted that run? He Holy just came mackerel. up. He took that right down, eh? So, you know what? We're, we're, we're on day two here. We start off in the same spot we did yesterday, and we're just getting fish after fish after fish. Like, you cannot fish this place out. Absolutely fantastic place for a group. See you later. Decent fish. Yeah. Nice. He came straight out of the water. He came straight out of the water. Where did he come from? Way, like right in front of that bush. Where, straight out of the water? Yeah, straight out. <laughs> <laughs> straight out. That's good. You couldn't get it any closer to the shore. Like the key is getting it as, as far away from the boat as possible. As soon as it hits the water, that jump all over it. Beautiful place. See you later.
Oh yeah. That's a good one. Very nice. <laughs> oh yeah. I think you got a winner right. there. Wait a you minute. Did a let me get let me get my camera so that uh, <laughs> we got something for those guys. We got to take a picture with a of the fish with the paddle behind it as a reference point to see who's caught the biggest fish of the day. Yeah. We have two paddles, and Here I found go. the one with the smallest. Yeah, smallest one. Okay. All right. I got a shot right like yeah. that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun stuff. Yeah. Well, you brought your sons up with you. Yeah, Ryan and Chris, they love fishing. And you know what? Here's the thing. When your kids get older, when you get away on a fishing trip like this, you can talk about things more substantial you know, yeah. that you wouldn't necessarily with all the kids around. And right. How are you doing? How, how are you in life? How yeah. are you financially? How are you in your, your work? How are you spiritually? Are you where you want to be? Definitely. And it's a great reconnection for the family. Enjoy the company, the people that you're with. That's what it's all about. And I learn a little bit about fishing from you. <laughs> I'll put my life jacket back on. Sounds good. This isn't a bad fish at all. No, that was a great cast. You put it exactly where you want it to, figured out where he'd be. You are good, Jeffrey. I just have fun doing it. There you go. This one's a fighter. That's a nice fish. I hear some drag. Now, see that? He just spit up a, a crayfish there. Oh, yeah. Isn't that something, huh? I love it, those hooks. Uh, you always seem to get them right in the top of the lip. Makes it nice and easy to get them out. Yeah. Okay, buddy. There you go. I find structure. <laughs> <laughs> it came off a tree or a log. It's been our pattern today. I haven't even re, re <laughs> That's fish number four off that tree. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Use the motor guide here to keep us off. That's a better fish. No. <laughs> what these fish like to do is sit under that thick vegetation there. So the key is to get it as close as possible to the shore because there's like little undercuts there, little rock formations or the little grooves in there and they sit in there. As soon as something lands there, they come charging for it. Right there, that's what you want. Look at that. As soon as it hit the water, run again. I mean, landed right on top of the bush. Oh, the fat fish, bud. Huh. I thought it was smaller than that. Yeah, me too. He's got some girth on him. Oh, yeah. yeah decent fish. Beautiful huh? fish. When I say right against the shore, I mean it hit that rock, it landed, and it was all over it. Okay. I like a little bit of salad with my fish. Good quality fish, every one. Again, guys, I want to remind you guys, we were here yesterday, the group of us, like all 12 of us, and we still caught fish after fish after fish. Like, it's just incredible the amount of fish here. You really gotta check it out, guys. Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge. Go to our website, fishtv.tv, for more information. Book yourself a group here. You're gonna have an absolute blast. Well, what a great couple of days here, guys, at Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge. I gotta Amazing. tell you, fish after fish. What do you guys think? It was crazy. Unbelievable. You know what? It was fantastic, <laughs> but the the worst part about this whole thing, I lost in poker. I lost in big fish. I mean, I'm just a loser. You always lose in big fish. You know what? It is a great place to bring a group here, guys. Anything of 10 or more, go to our website, fishtv.tv, for more information. But before we go, we have a champion to crown here. We have made a $5 bet yeah. of the biggest fish. We're going to let Kirsten, the owner of Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge, decide. Kirsten, what do you I'm think? I'm excited. Who won? It was a tough decision. I heard there were even bigger fish caught yesterday, but they didn't get them on camera. So today, Sasha caught a really long fish, but the strength and the muscle goes to Ryan. Oh! oh. 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 Nice. As promised, there you go. $30,000 yeah, right 30, here. <laughs> Good job, Brian. Hey, listen, we had a blast here. Make sure you check out our website again. Until next week. I'm Rod James. I'm Leo Stackles. I'm Jeff Chisholm. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Bye-bye, everyone.
Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. Underwater limbs. Oh, oh yeah. Better size. Nothing wrong with that. Beautiful. So we uh, got the disadvantage to Ron and Leo today because they've spent a whole couple of days fishing this lake before and this is our first time really getting a good shot at it. So uh, we had to figure this out for ourselves. So we looked for the first piece of structure that we could see right, right across from the camp right there. There's a tree in the water. So far we've pulled three fish out of that tree in the in what, four casts? <laughs> I don't know. I start Beauty. catching these guys and off they go. Now that one is a, is that a smallmouth? I think you got a smallmouth. Thank you. Nobody's ever said that to me before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a smallmouth. And the obvious difference between them? Well, that one's a little more brown than the largemouth's green. The largemouth will have a, a line down the side. Oh, I just missed one. But that's because he's 29 inches, baby. 29? Oh, yeah. He's a lake record if it is. <sighs> he's a fat fish, man. Could do the healthy fish, yeah. He just ate it. He came right over for yeah, it. That's where you want it right there. Oh, looks like a new record, boys. I'm going to double check anyways, but no, he's about 16, bud. No, it's 15. 15 inches again. You know, we don't get to see our friends that often because of our filming schedule. And you know, we decided, you know what, let, let's book Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge here. Have some fun. It literally took Basil an hour and 45 minutes from Toronto. You yeah. don't get any better scenery than this. You come here, you're the only ones fishing the lake. You are the only ones. There. Oh, there he is. That's a better fish, bud. No. It's just a good all around. You got him, you got him, you I got him. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's just a... I thought he, I thought he was gonna, I thought he we was gonna... eat it. Holy. He hit it hard though, didn't he? He can't told you, yeah. he came flying out of there. Ate the frog, ate it. Well, he came flying for it. He came after me first. Oh, little one. That's at least 16, see? <laughs> All I seen was 15. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Ooh, like that. That's a giant, bud. Ooh. This is a cow. It is, it's oh, a cow, no. it's a five pounder. <laughs> Oh, you! <laughs> oh my God, bud! I set the hook on that and couldn't even move it. <laughs> oh, look at this! Okay. Get in here! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's why we come to Crooked Lake right there. Look at that giant! I gotta take a picture You're of that. You're right, you do. <laughs> yeah! Look at that. That's a beauty, bud. Yeah, I like. It. All right. That's a. Sweet fish. Right I gotta take a picture of you with that. That came in five feet of water on a tree. Guess what we're gonna start doing? <laughs> start looking for deeper trees. <laughs> All right. Look at he's on the cushion there. Yeah. Look at his mouth is there. That's an 18 I'm incher 12, right I'm, there, buddy. My shoe's 13. Yeah. Not a 12. That's an 18 incher. You're Look. right. You're winning so far, but he's a hot. Oh, what a core. What a cow. That's a good fish right there. I'm gonna let that one go. Beautiful. There he goes, man. You almost didn't set the hook. You go, oh, I almost set the hook No, down. what happened was I came over the tree limb, and I went, oh, that felt weird. And as soon as I come over the tree limb, doom. Oh, 
Wow. I'm like, oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, Ronnie's got a four pounder. He's got a four pounder. <laughs> it's now time for the Motor Guy Tip of the Week. Hey, folks, Leo Stockos here with the Tip of the Week. You know, we had a fantastic day here at Crooked Lake Wilderness Lodge. Fish after fish after fish. But the cool thing is, we actually brought a secret weapon. We brought with us a portable Garmin unit that actually showed us where these suspended fish were off the break, and we followed that break into the shallow water, and that was the key to our success here. So the next time you come up here, don't leave home without it. Bring yourself a Garmin portable unit. There's no reason why there shouldn't be giants in, in this trough here. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh, oh baby! <laughs> it's the Shaw Special! No way. I don't that's know. Close. It's close. <laughs> It's an inch too shy, and I don't even have to put it against his foot. He came out of the padge and hit this right in the middle, or Ron, he was swimming the trough. That's There's some like good quality fish Beautiful here, fish, bud. Look at that. Yeah. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. <laughs> Back in the water she goes. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I see the <laughs> Oh, that was great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why you said, okay, yeah. go ahead and cast in there. Yeah. Because you looked at the same boy. I saw that from my peripheral vision. <laughs> I'll tell you, the competition between two buddies is amazing. <laughs> Neither one of us wanted to say anything about that boil we saw there. <laughs>